Uh, this model kit review is of the vintage police car. It is a 125th scale model by AMT and it is a 1927 Model T Ford. Uh, here is another paint scheme and over here we've got uh, some of the features. I guess we've got uh, two engine options, two uh, tire options. Oh, actually no, that's a spare tire. Some additional uh, little pieces here, megaphone, gun, flashlight and helmet. Here are the uh, sprues on the back. Let's open up and have a look at what we got. Okay, so let's open up this bag here. This is obviously a very old mold. And uh, there's no protective uh, sprue around there. Here we've got uh, the wheels. You can see the flashing there. Uh, there's our, must be our spare tire there. Some suspension parts and our axle there. There's a radiator. A firewall there, part of the engine, some body exhaust pipes, here is our front windshield protector or cover. Yeah, we've got a uh, yeah, really old mold here. These are our springs, the leaf springs for the suspension and probably exhaust parts there. This is our actual chassis. Here's the roof and uh, our rear with the back window there, dashboard there, some engine parts, and then our seats. Okay, there. Here's the rest of the white sprues. And here is the, uh, I guess, the body with the doors molded in. <clears throat> Here's the, uh, the floorboards, the floor uh, boards, and the runners. We've got our wheel well covers there. This is our uh, engine cover. <clears throat> Here's the other side of our spare wheel. The other sides of the wheels. And then there is our drive shaft and rear axle, fan, some lights. Here's the cockpit tub for the inside and the rear seat. And there's the sawn-off shotgun <laughs> and um, that's our um, megaphone. Those are the two police hats. Here we've got our very thin tires made out of stiff vinyl. There is the side curtain if you want to have the side windows. And then there's the rest of the windows. Let's see what this is. I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm really sure what that is. <coughs> Let's see what in the instructions what that is. Here's the our headlights. We've got two metal axles. So I guess the wheels are going to roll. Here are our chrome parts. So a fair number of chrome parts here, we've got some headlights here, there's the sheriff's badge, quite a large badge, flashlight it looks like, and some engine parts, exhausts, some trim, we've got a uh, license plate there, and uh, some more lights there, well, let's have a look at our instructions, and then we'll get our decals. <coughs> so over here, this gives our <coughs> parts listing with their numbers, because they don't all have numbers on them. For example, here, you have no idea. But for a fairly simple kit, so hopefully you should be able to figure it out, as there aren't too many parts. So, <coughs> start off here with the engine. And that's a police option there. 
and then do our wheels, <clears throat> do our chassis, we mount the engine and the wheels with the axles, and we start off with the interior and the rest of the body. And once we mounted all that, we come to over here. We've got all the accessories. We've got uh, spotlight over there, step plates go over there. Uh, that's the police siren. We've got the um, uh, there we go, that's what the stars force for the front here. And our headlights. Uh, those are actually bells. And then um, the rest of the, that's the, the um, spare wheels mounted on the back. So, <clears throat> that should be a fairly fun little kit to make. Um, obviously it's an older mold and requires a little bit of sanding. Here are the decals. These are very nicely printed and good quality. So that'll be a fun little build.